Okay, so it's been quite a while since I've uploaded anything. And yeah, I'm not wearing a mask this time. I'm just sort of me. <laughs> oh, this feels weird, but yeah, it's been a while since I've recorded anything. I've been pretty busy. The world's been going into chaos still, and everything's just kind of berserk. But, uh, something has been on my mind quite a bit this year, besides all the other stuff that's been going on. Um, well, it's been on my mind for a while, longer than just this year, but I'm, tr I'm gonna try and make this a very quick video, because I don't want this to take too long, and... I don't know, hold on. Sorry about that, my brothers just got home and... Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm gonna feel quite uncomfortable because my chubby face is in the camera view, but I felt too lazy to wear a mask. <clears throat> so, here I am, without a mask on, showing everything that I'm insecure about. Uh, but, anyways, um... So this has been on my mind for a while and I've been contemplating on whether to really talk about this subject or not because it's very sensitive and it's just, it's been, it's been bothering me quite a bit. Um, I don't know, I just feel like tonight's maybe the, the best night to talk about it. I know that there's a lot going on right now, but it's just, it's been bothering me. And so... Um, I've been thinking a lot about, not that many of you know this, but I have self-harmed quite a bit back when I was 15 years old, so I was like back in 2013, and um, I don't know, it's just, that was quite a dark year for me. <laughs> it was, um, I, I, I started cutting at around 2013, then I progressed, I think, until 2017, and that's when I sort of stopped for a bit, although I did cut myself once last year, which was around, I think, maybe November or December, but yeah, last year was also very crazy too, I just, I don't know, it's like, back in... It's, it's a long story. Uh, back in 2015, I was diagnosed with severe depression and a possible case of schizophrenia. And, I don't know, it was really scary, and I wasn't in my right mind, and I was hurting myself a lot, I was yelling and acting like a total psychopath, and I was just... my head just wasn't correct. It's like, the cause of the se severe depression was that I have been suffering from loneliness for like, I think, for quite a long time um, before I was diagnosed and this, I guess this one day, I, I just sort of snapped. Again, it's a very long story. It'll take me like maybe two hours to re really talk about what this mo- it, Never mind, it was just my dog's pee pad. But anyways, it would take me quite a while to explain everything that happens, so I might as well just try and keep it as short as possible. Um, it was just a very hectic year. It wasn't a very healthy year. I was just severely sick in the head, and I have so many scars just abusing myself. It was just terrible. And in 2019, my mental state, I mean, I got better after the year 2015. I got a whole lot better. I actually felt a lot happier. Um, I mean, yeah, I still harmed myself from time to time. I think 2016, I didn't quite do it as much anymore. The every years I started doing it just a little more after we started moving to Florida because you know it was because we were moving I didn't like the whole change thing and more things started getting pretty out of hand and it was just yeah 
it was not pretty. <laughs> not pretty at all. So, um, let's see, in 2019, my mindset, uh, I mean, I was like the most sleep I've ever lost within a year. <laughs> Just to tell you guys, I've lost so much sleep in 2019, it's not even funny. We had fleas for months on end in the household, and it took took us forever to get rid of them. I think it took us like at around July or August to um, get rid of all of them, and we did, and I think it was around July, I think it was July, but uh, yeah, it took us forever. And of course, I suffered with very severe sleep depression, including my little sister, because we had to sleep downstairs, and, our, and we kept like uh, we kept getting interrupted, like our sleep kept getting interrupted, or I don't know, we kept getting woken up, we kept being uh, kept awake, and we would only get like three or five hours of sleep. We would be on the verge of passing out. My sister got very sick from it, and our minds just sort of got uh, what's the word like messed up, and it's just it wasn't good. <laughs> um, but and that was also um, the year where I suffered my first ever panic attack. Which was very scary. It felt like I was being closed into a very dark space and tons of bad things were happening in my head and I was just crying. And my mom had to come out, she had to calm me down and it was just, it was a mess. So it was, was not pretty. And um, I don't know, last year was just crazy. I, there was, I could talk about it, like I said, I could talk about this for hours, but I want to keep this video very short. Um, this year, I, can I be honest, I'd rather take this year than last year. I mean, yeah, there's a ton of very serious problems going on right now, and it's a very confusing time for everybody. It's just that my mentality, my mental state, oh my gosh, <laughs> my mental state was horrible. I'm not saying that this year isn't, like, bad. I'm just talking about what my mentality was last year. I'm not like, I'm just saying that I actually feel better this year than last year, even though I had the cops called on me because my life coach thought that I was gonna commit suicide and I guess she made up some stuff and to get them to come here. Like when the police came, um, of course I was in tears because I felt super embarrassed and I felt, I mean, I felt pretty unhappy in the beginning of 2020, but then I started feeling much better after the police showed up and stuff, like maybe a couple or a few days later. Um, of course I was in tears because I felt embarrassed and betrayed because my life coach said like, like, uh, the, the police told me, like, uh, <laughs> like, they said that I was threatening to kill myself over the phone, at least from what they were told, and that I had a fork and I was threatening to hurt other people. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not threatening to kill myself over the phone, nor do I have a fork with me to hurt myself with. The fork is another long story. Well, maybe not the longest story, but it's another story. Um, but it's just, it was crazy. I don't know. I just... It wasn't great. I cried. I almost got taken away on my mom's birthday because of this. So the police, they were very kind. They were very sweet. They were understanding. And they're like, are you sure you don't want us to like take you in to get help? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And they're like, okay. And they left. And I don't know. I, I had a whole awkward conversation with my parents. They were understanding. I'm saying like you don't have to tell us anything if you don't want to and I'm like yeah yeah we'll keep it like that I've been feeling a lot better though um for quite a bit now and I don't know I mean the only thing that's been bothering me a lot is the scars on my arms from back in 2013 and the years going on 
it's just that um, <laughs> I'm, I know that I was crying a lot about them this year because I've been feeling very re regretful of them. Um, I scarred up. You can't really see them. I don't know if you can or not. No, you can't. Not quite. You can see the vein though. <laughs> but I did hurt my arms pretty bad and my upper arm and my upper arms It's, it's too dark. I don't, don't want to turn the light. <laughs> I'll put some pictures over here, I think, is where you'll see the scars. Um, I think they'll be right there, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, it's just, uh, uh, I just feel really regretful for hurting myself, and it's like, I don't know, I feel scared looking at them, and I also feel regret. And I feel like I want to cry every time I see them, so I feel tempted to wear a long sleeve shirt. But then I remember that I'm not a heat person, and we're living in Florida where it's always like almost 100 degrees, even in the winter time, which really sucks. So I uh, can't quite. What are you looking at? <laughs> Dog's just giving me the most strangest look. What? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, well. <laughs> Anyways, it's just, I don't know, it's, it sucks. I know that crying over my scars and praying that they would go away like I did last night, I know that's not how prayers work, but I really badly wanted my scars to go away because they've been bothering me for so long. And obviously they didn't go away, but I was hoping they would the next day and it's just, it was a shame to see them again. I don't, I can't get over it. It's like, they're just there. And I have gotten better at ignoring them, but it still haunts me. It's like every time I look at them, I get flashbacks to what happened. And it makes me want to cry or I feel anxious and a bit scared because it's like, it's my arm. I completely mutilated it. And it really sucks because it's such a, it was such a pretty arm. Now it's a very mutilated arm, and so is the other arm. Well, I mean, the left arm is more mutilated than the right because, you know, I'm a right-handed person and it was much easier to hurt myself with my right hand. <sighs> this is just... Uh, I don't want people to look at me like I'm a crazy, psychopathic freak. It's just... I'm a whole lot better than I was years back. I really am. I promise you that. And I'm a whole lot better than last year. Last year I acted just a little bit crazy because I lost a whole ton of sleep and I was having anxiety attacks and intrusive thoughts and I had this one very bad panic attack and I was just crying a lot and it felt like nothing was ever going to get better and I felt very suicidal. But then this year came along and it all started to go away slowly and I started to recover. Although I used to be a horror fanatic until last year, nothing really happened to make me hate horror or like, um, or like criminal sort of shows. It's just, I don't know, my mindset just got all messed up and now I can never like feel comfortable or totally comfortable at least watching a horror movie or a, um, I mean, I, yeah, I guess I'm more comfortable watching criminal shows now. It's just horror related stuff I can't stand anymore. I used to love it. Now I am just, I'm like, uh, -uh no. <laughs> so they, a lot of, a lot of stuff in my mind. I, or some stuff at least my mind has changed. I am a bit happier. Um, I'm still trying to work on like my self confidence. I'm still trying to get rid of the acne and the acne scars. Um, the reason why you can't see that is because it is dimly lit in here. And I'm very happy that it's dimly lit because then you won't have to see the imperfections on my face besides the fat that's surrounding my face. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It, it's just it's been it's been quite quite the few years or how many years but, I, know, I just want to talk about it because it's just been bothering me and um, and
including when, since I'm a diabetic, I'll feel like really alone. And I know that I'm not alone. I know I'm not facing it alone. But it's like, when you haven't met any other diabetics, it's like, it can feel intimidating at times. I know that my one doctor is a diabetic. I think he is. I think so. Um, if I'm remembering correctly. But it's just, I don't know. It still feels like lonesome and stuff. <laughs> But, anyways, um, that's about all I want to really talk about. Um, I feel really bad for other people who also may have, like, scars that haunt them, and, um, I just want you guys to know that I know how that feels, and it really sucks, and I'm still struggling with it, but I'm learning how to kind of cope with it. Um, I could try natural remedies to at least maybe make them look a to maybe make some of them sort of look like they're gone or whatever. It's not going to really do much because my arm is just terrible. Um, even feeling it makes me, my skin crawl. I just don't like it. It's not good. It reminds me too much of the bad memories and I really hate it. But yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll be recording more videos pretty soon. I just gotta get past this whole busy schedule. I'm also, uh, like, doing this leg challenge thing, so that's been very, uh, very exhausting, and I'm kind of feeling achy right now, because <laughs> I've, I've been feeling a bit achy every night for three nights now, uh, after doing this challenge. I think it's because my body's just exhausted, and it's just t tuckered out, doesn't know what to do, but Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope this whole uh, thing going on right now in the world is not, like, harming you guys mentally in any way. And if it is, I'm really sorry. I hope you maybe talk to somebody about it. Or you can try talking to me. We can just talk. I don't, I don't know. I'm a friendly person. I'm okay. <laughs> Please, I mean, if you want, that's fine. Um... My, uh, I don't know, if you guys want to follow, that's, that's cool. Um, I know, uh, you could also try and contact me on Instagram, besides YouTube, if you want. Um, my Instagram is ShadowX1200. I also have a Twitter that is ShadowX1200. Um, Wattpad, ShadowX1200. Uh, Quota, ShadowX1200. Just, I mean, any account, basically, just ShadowX1200. Um... I used to have a Snapchat, but Snapchat's just boring. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how people can be entertained by Snapchat. I personally can't. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are doing okay, and I hope that you're all having a good day or having somewhat of a good year, even though this year's been pretty hectic. I know that my year, I, I, I mean, I'm staying positive. I'm trying to keep going, um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so. How else will I continue this video? Or how will I end this video? I've already... Anyways. <laughs> Bye, guys.